editorial. Uh, when you came into the game in the third quarter, were you looking to to provide a little bit of, of a spark there, or what? Or what did you see, and how? How? Uh, why were you so successful in that third quarter? Um, honestly, just you know, being active, like you said, being a spark, you know, and uh, like I said, I'm out, I'm out here to, you know, be the energy guy, and uh, bring life to the team uh, whenever we need it. And you know, third quarter I came in and and, and we need a spark, and not just saying because you know I got some, some, a couple buckets, but just on defense and just talking and everything, you know, just just trying to bring some kind of energy, some kind of spark, so we can get over that hump. Hi, Kerdan. Akiko Yamawaki from Kyoto News Japan. Uh, how how comfortable are you to going towards uh, Tokyo now? Uh, I, I'm pretty comfortable. I feel like that. Um, I mean, I know my role with the team, um, and I feel like that. Uh, I mean, my teammates have my back. My coaches have my back. So uh, I'm comfortable going into Tokyo and and doing whatever they need me to do for for us to uh, win win games. Keldon Joe Varden from the Athletic. Um, you got banged up a little bit there. What, what happened? Uh, really just diving for the ball, trying to make a play. You know, uh, it happens. A uh, little, little bruise. Uh, I'll be ready uh, whenever we have practice again or wherever we need to go again. I think it mainly just knocked the wind out of me. That's all. And um, I was ready to come back in uh, as soon as they wanted me to. And then I know these games don't count. And you've got guys in the locker room who've won NBA finals. Um, but I'm wondering what it was like at halftime. Um, you know, the first half where you guys didn't shoot it well, you were down last game before Tokyo. And I'm just, I'm just wondering what the mood and, and atmosphere was like in there. Uh, we know what we're capable of. Uh, we know that, um, I mean, just keep shooting. We're getting good shots, uh, keep shooting. But the main thing is just, uh, keep the intensity up, keep and keep playing defense, keep getting stops. I feel like, uh, the offense take care of itself. Uh, we're going we gonna to eventually hit shots. But I think the main thing was is just keep locking in on defense and keep uh, helping each other and talking. Any more questions from the room? If not, we will go to Zoom and let's start with Chris Sheridan. Hey, Keldon. Uh, hoping you could hear me. I'm wondering about the level of uh, maybe apprehension or or dread even about going into a, a bubble situation in Tokyo where you're going to have to quarantine for a while and uh, you're not going to be around a lot of other humans, uh, especially in the arena where you're going to be playing in front of an empty arena. Um, I, mean, I went to the bubble in Orlando um, and uh, I just felt like we locked in, you know, uh, not really worried about seeing other people and uh, too many different things that we worry about winning and uh I feel like if we got quarantine, we, we do whatever it takes so we can uh, uh, get there safely and uh, get to the arena and back safely so we can uh, play and, and get on the court. We'll go next to Leonardo Torres. Hey, Keldon, uh, it's Leonardo Torres from Peru. Congrats on the win. Keldon, how proud are you to be part of the Olympic team? Uh, thank you, first off. And, um, it's a dream come true. I'm definitely proud to be able to represent my country. You know, um, this is something that you know you dream of that, uh, when you're when you're a child when you're watching all, all the other great players come through and play for play play for the United States. So um, just being able to do this, you know, is you know it, it kind of hit home. You know that uh, given this opportunity, that you know that a lot of people trust me to put this jersey on it and go play. And um, I mean, this is big. You know. Next, uh, Fernando Rivera from Fiba TV, and then Hector. I'm, not, I'm sorry, I'm gonna pronounce your name wrong. But Fernando, go ahead. Hey, Keldon from Puerto Rico. What was your what was your reaction when you they call you to the Olympic team, and mm. what would you like to show to the people as a player in the Olympics? Um, my reaction was uh, I was pretty much lost for words. Uh, just having this big opportunity and to prove to people, I wouldn't really say like I'm trying to prove anything. Uh, I know who I am as a player and I, uh, I know what my teammates and coaches expect, uh, expect out of me going, going forward, you know? So it's not like uh, I'm coming here trying to do something that I'm not, not comfortable with. Uh, I know what I'm good at and what I'm not good at. And uh, I feel like that I play to my strengths and, and just go out there and play. Thank you. Keldon, good to see you, man. 
Nice to see you too. Question about, uh, did you happen to hear when you got selected, when you got moved up to Team USA, I know you guys blocked stuff out, but did you happen to see any of the questioning and the Keldon Johnson, you know, given all the options that Team USA theoretically might have had, Keldon Johnson, who's this or why? Did you happen to see any of that? No, nah, I, don't, I don't really be on social media like that, to be honest. Uh, and, uh, I mean, everybody's entitled to their opinion. You know, I can't control what somebody else thinks. But, um, I mean, it's not going to deter me from going out there and doing what I'm supposed to do for my team, you know. Um, I mean, obviously, you know, they know what I'm capable of and I know what I'm capable of. So, uh, I mean, whatever people think, that's, that's their opinion. But um, just go out there and play. Given the, the talents uh, that you're on Team USA with, does this feel especially nice to have a game like this in your first official, you know, first game as an official member of Team USA? Um, I mean, I just play my game, honestly, you know, try to make it easy for, for my teammates and my teammates trusted me, giving me the ball in the right spots. So, um, uh, so I mean, some games will be better than others, and I understand that. So uh, I think uh, having a good game is good, but uh, it's definitely uh, time to prepare for, for the next opponent. Appreciate it, Coden. Best of luck, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. Next up, Noah George and Hey, Kelvin, you had a solid performance tonight, and generally you've looked pretty comfortable alongside Team USA from the moment you checked in against Australia. Why do you think you fit in so well with this roster of All-Stars, MVPs, and former scoring champions? Um, I mean, I can tell you, I just go out there and, you know, play, you know, uh, just try to try to make it easy for my teammates. And um, that's that's pretty much all I can say. You know, I trust in my abilities. I put in the hard work and, uh, you know, my teammates trust me to trust me to and put me in the right spots to, to make good plays. And if I could ask a follow up question real quick, uh, you have a ton of really, really good teammates here. Is there anything that you're hoping to learn from them or take away from them by the end of this Olympic experience? Definitely 100%. I think that um, uh, anything that anything that I don't know and that I'm not sure of, I ask questions and uh, I'm definitely here to learn and, you know, grow as a player because there's so many things that you can learn from so many great players that's here, you know. So um, whatever, whatever that, you know, like I said before that I don't understand, you know, I'm not afraid to ask. And I think that, um, I mean, that's that's pretty much it. But, yeah, like, I'm willing to grow and learn, you know, and uh, I want to get better. Thank you so much. No problem. We've got time for two more questions. We'll go to Tim Reynolds, and then we'll close it out with WDA Chinelato. Thank you. Hey, Kelvin, Tim Reynolds with the AP. Um, like everyone else said, congratulations on, on being named, first of all. Thank you. You, you um, all these guys on your team, They've all known Pop longer than you have, but you're the one who plays for him. Have you gotten a sense in your time with him just about how much this means to him, how much this these Olympics, this opportunity, this job means to him? Uh, definitely. You know, um, I mean, it's big for all of us, uh, not just Coach Pop, but I feel like that, uh, you know, he takes it very seriously, uh, just like every game that he takes in the NBA. And um, he's preparing and um, – He's giving us the right the right uh, reports and things like that, and coaching us up. So uh, I think he takes it very seriously, uh, being being uh, able to to coach uh, this Olympic team. Thank you. No problem. And we'll close out tonight with Davide. Hi, Kelton. I'm Davide from Italy. Uh, congrats for being selected for the team. Obviously, you've been around for the whole Vegas experience. Uh, what if, how do you think this group has bonded and what do you think you guys need to do moving forward to be ready to play on Sunday? Um, I mean, just continue to, to look at film and get better, you know. Uh, I mean, that's about it. I feel like, uh, you know, we're bonding, we're bonding great. I feel like um, we all like each other, but uh, I feel like just, just keep getting better, keep getting better, keep learning and um, just get ready for Sunday.